Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Kuat Transfer V2 two-bike platform rack right here on our 2016 Mazda CX-5. So the Kuat Transfer and there are two different versions of this. There's a two-inch version and an inch and a quarter version with an included adapter, which is what we have here is a very versatile bike rack. It has a goal post design that makes it a lot easier to mount and dismount your bikes. We also have other things like locks, tilt away. We'll talk about those specs and those measurements, but we are gonna focus on our CX-5 here today. That way you can see how it works with the vehicle and what makes a better fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your Mazda CX-5. The first feature we are going to take a look at is the tilt away feature. So we have this goal post design, which means you can step into it, making it easier to access that foot lever. You're just gonna step on that and let it drop down to its hilt. Why would you tilt your bike rack away? Well, if you wanna access your hatch. So as you can see here, when we open up our hatch, there's a lot of clearance between our pedals, our handlebars, allowing us to get into there and grab whatever we need. So whether it's our waters, our helmets, our, let's say, our backpacks, we can grab them real quick without having to take the bikes off. Then you just lift that bike rack up and don't forget to put down that hook if you only have one on and you're ready to hit the road. So what types of bikes can you carry with this bike rack? Well, I have my women's bike right here so you can see that I don't need a frame adapter bar like some other racks have because we have a front hook design. Now, other types of bikes that are helpful with that front hook is gonna be your carbon fiber frame bikes, your women's bikes like this, your step through frames, and even your children's bikes. This also makes it easier to mount and dismount those bikes just because it's a quick and easy reach. What's also holding it down is gonna be our rear wheel strap. So when we wanna take our bike off, this is actually where we would start. You would just press that lever that disengages that strap, letting you take this out. I like to just bring it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in our spokes. And then I enter into the bike rack frame. I hold the bike with one hand as I press this button with the other, lift this up, push that out. And just like that, it's a quick and easy lift and I'm ready to go on a bike ride. With our bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look at the rack itself. So we have our rear cradle. This tilts back and forth for those different wheel bases. And you also have that strap that goes around. Now, if you do have fat tire bikes, you can see how the cradle itself can accommodate that. But you are gonna have to use the wider strap for tires that are wider than three inches. Your front wheel cradle has the same grooves. This also has the ability to adapt for those different wheel bases just using the tools included with your rack. Then you have your front hook, and I like pretty much any bike rack that has a front hook, again, because of the versatility. Now, when you are folding that front hook away, just remember to just hold it on the outside. That way, it doesn't take up space inside of your goal post design, and just shows it off a little bit better. Now the Kuat Transfer is probably the longer bike rack for the options that Kuat offers. So if you are backing into your garage or parking into a tight spot, you are gonna have to think about the measurement from the bumper to the end of the rack of 36 inches or three feet exactly. So your Mazda CX-5 is already a compact SUV. It doesn't really take up much space. So it's nice to know that you do have a lot of room to work with. Now you also have to think about ground clearance. So we do have a slight shank rise on the Kuat transfer, which makes it so that the end of the rack to the ground is gonna be 17 and a half inches. Then you compare that to the shank to the ground, and that's gonna be 11 and a half inches. So that way your bikes are sitting higher up off the ground. Depending on what hitch you have on your CX-5, you're gonna wanna make sure that shank rise is present with all of your different accessories because when you go up those steep, steep inclines, like those driveways or hills, your front's gonna go up, your back's gonna go down, and you wanna make sure whatever you're carrying is off the ground. Now, what if you're not planning on going for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't wanna take your bike rack off? While this is not the heaviest rack, it's still kinda bulky. So what you can do is you can just press this lever 
And this time, instead of letting the bike rack tilt away, you're going to want to lift it up until it snaps back into place. So this is going to be the compact or the portable um, feature. So closest point is going to be from your bumper to your front wheel mount, and that's five and a half inches, so plenty of clearance there. The length this now adds to the back of our vehicle is going to be from the bumper to the goal post, 11 and a half and then all the way to that foot lever, it's going to be about 13 inches. Big difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll want it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town and you don't want to take up too much space. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind you all the time? Well, notice here that this is really where the transfer shines because your rear window obviously isn't covered, your taillights are visible, but your license plate and your backup camera are also visible because they're right here in that open area. So that's awesome because as you're driving around the road, it's nice to know that you're both visible and legal there. Now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So what we have here is the inch and a quarter version with the included two inch hitch adapter. I personally highly recommend getting the two inch version if you can, because that one has the ability to add on to the bike rack and then you can carry around four bikes. Now the inch and a quarter is going to have 40 pound weight capacity per bike. The two inch is going to have more weight capacity for your heavier electric bikes. It fits right in with the included adapter. We have a hitch pin and you are going to have a clip at the end. You can upgrade to a lock if you want to. That way both your bikes and your bike rack are secured by locks. Now you do have a security measure for the bike rack itself and that's going to be the security Allen key. So it's a special Allen wrench that tightens down your bike rack. It extends a ball cam inside of the hitch receiver. So to demonstrate, we're going to shake our bike rack back and forth to try to simulate the road movement and vibration. While we might have a little bit of movement where those trays are, the rack itself is nice and secure. We'll just double check and use that tool to tighten it down. I prefer the knob that you can find on the Kuat Sherpa or the Kuat NV instead, but this does work to keep it secure. So my personal thoughts about the Kuat transfer is I do like the versatility of the rack. The open goal post design is really impressive because you have all of this visibility behind your vehicle. Now, it is nice to see that the tilt away is good enough that we can open up our hatch because we don't have that good of a tilt compared to, let's say, the Kuat Sherpa. If you want something that has a bit more weight capacity but is similar in terms of price, you may want to consider the Rocky Mounts monorail. That's going to be a bit bulkier. It won't have the open goal post design, but you will have similar features. Definitely check that out if you want to compare the differences between the two bike racks. But me, personally, I think this is a great fit for the Mazda CX-5 since it checks off pretty much all of those boxes that you would need. And that was a look right here at our Kuat Transfer V2 two-bike platform rack on our 2016 Mazda CX-5. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.